Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. In today's video we're gonna be talking about something I found by accident and it's actually a pretty funny story. So first of all I was moving my old computer into my new computer and by doing that we had some issues with the drives and whatsoever. But actually why I moved this computer is because I wanted to make it faster rendering videos and making it more easy to play games as well. So I wanted to play the game Star Citizen, probably a lot of you guys know what game it is. But we came into some issues. We had blockchain drivers installed onto our system and our graphics drivers kept on crashing. So the game crashed because of the blockchain drivers. We once know that the blockchain drivers degrade the performance of games, but this actually made them crash all over the place. So what I've done is I installed the latest drivers onto the graphics card. So a single RX Vega 64 and I moved over the Vega Frontier Edition because that one has AMD Pro settings and, and it wasn't working out so well. So we installed the RX Vega 64, updated the drivers to the latest drivers and we ran the game Star Citizen for about an hour without crashing. The game performance was even better. And I decided like, hey, let's just do some Ethereum mining with it and see how much it degraded with the latest drivers on this graphics card. So I ran the Ethereum miner V10.6 because V11 is giving me a lot of virus issues. So I'm not using that one for now until it's fixed. So we ran V10.6 and we were doing about 44 mega ashes per second. That's pretty usual. It was using the 220 watts or so uh, on power usage from the wall. And I was like, hey, let's uh, take MSI Afterburner out and tune the settings a little bit and see if I can get it a little bit more efficient. And suddenly we saw that the core voltage was unlocked. That wasn't unlocked before on the blockchain drivers or anything like it. So I started tweaking that. I set it to minus 100 millivolts and we saw a decrease in power usage. I even set it to minus 200 millivolts and even that decreased the power usage even more. We were still mining at about 43.7 mega ashes per second while using about 50 watts less, the core clock speed. I was able to put it all the way down to 852. It's, it's all the way the lowest you can put it to. We were still mining at 43.7 mega ashes per second and this graphics card was using about 130 watts on the core only. I took my other mining rig with six Vegas inside it I set the same settings, I updated the drivers to the latest driver, the 18.2.2. We had the same MSI Afterburner, it's also the latest version, 4.2.2 if I'm exact. And we went from 1650 watts doing 250 mega ashes per second and we brought it back down all the way to 1000 watts only at 250 mega ashes per second. I do know there was already a way to tune your settings and do it as exactly the same as what is happening now in MSI Afterburner with the core voltage that you can turn down. It was with the overdriven tool, with Regidit, and a lot of editing on everything else. So now we have the solution just by updating our drivers to the latest 18.2.2, setting your MSI Afterburner to everything you need, your, your fan speed is even going to be less. You can put it at about 80 or 70% instead of 100 and you will still have the same 43.7 mega ashes per second on your Vega 64s. The Vega 56s are more running on 41.2 mega ashes per second, but you can always flash your BIOS to a 64 and get the same out of it. Hopefully this was useful today for you guys and I may be able to do a quick guide on this um, so you guys can, can do it yourselves. So I'm gonna explain to you step by step how to do this or how to accomplish, how to install the drivers and so on. So if you want to see that, just make sure to leave a like and a comment below that you want to see the guide on how to do this. But I actually explained it a little bit like installing the latest driver, also installing the latest MSI Afterburner and just set the same clock settings as I did in the video. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video today and see you guys in the next one.